it looks like just another gloomy day in Gotham City, in the middle of nowhere, at a secret location somewhere in New Mexico. But wait a minute, we're not in the middle of nowhere. We're at the place where the cars get stashed. And since it's a gloomy day, there's also this really nice facility that we will not give clues about, where we can stash the trailer and camp indoors. So let's go see what we do for Tabitha the Traveling Cat to make her day just a little bit more comfortable. Let's look in the window. And oh yes, you can see her over there. She's coming to the window to see what's going on. Hey Tabitha, it's really easy to travel with the cat, especially in a tiny trailer like this one. You'd think that you need more room, but she actually has a lot of places where she'll go and make herself comfortable and right at, feel right at home. So the first thing is I set up all these um, solar powered motion detector lights so you don't have to turn on lights when you get in and out on a dark day. But I always leave the door locked because I don't want her to accidentally get out. So let's, let's see, the wrong key. Try it again. This is the key, we'll turn that key in the door and she doesn't run out fortunately, she just stands there and greets me. Let's turn some lights. Hey Tabitha. Oh, we got some lights there. There she is. Hey Tabitha, you having a good morning? Okay, I'm coming in kitten. Make room for daddy. Make room for daddy. So right now, since we are, since it is morning and we just barely got out of bed, the actual bed is still unfolded here. She has a bench on the left and on the right. But she um, enjoys getting in the bed because it's an electric blanket when we have, you know, various types of solar power or whatever are available. And so she has a lot of places she goes in a tiny spot like this. So right there is the closet. And above the closet, since the pop-top tent is up, she likes to get up there. And we have a blanket situation for her up there. So she'll jump up there and make herself at home. And like I said, she'll come down on the bed and crawl under the blanket with you. And she looks just like a little, little kid sleeping there with a pillow. She also likes to come over here and sit on the stove. When the electric heater is on, she will sit on this little stand and just sit there and let the heat make her feel comfortable. And since she's a cat, when the tent is up, on the top, the pop-top tent is up on this trailer, she likes to get on this little ledge here and she'll lay in there. And that's on a day when it's kind of semi-cool, semi, semi-cool meaning 40 degrees. She'll get up there and she enjoys the, the temperature. But let's turn on some lights here so we can see some more things. So I'm just gonna crawl across the bed. Let's look out the window. So there's a pot belly stove over there that we can turn on. And it keeps the storage garage warm and of course the trailer warm as well. But since nobody's in here right now and we haven't made the bed, I'll just throw blankets up there. And Tabitha, a cat, will also get there and be comfy and look out the window to see what's going on. What else do you do, Tabitha? Um, let's see. She does just like to sit on pillows and look out the window. Hey, Tabitha. Yeah, she has her jingle bell on. Let me turn some lights. There we go. She's looking for a breakfast, so let's, let's do some breakfast. Okay, we accidentally bumped the camera. So let's turn on the camera again and give Tabitha something to eat. She knows this is usually the spot where she can find her food. So she'll come look in there. She likes to eat those temptation cat foods and some of the and some other good, high-quality brands, but the Temptations are a special treat to her. So it's really easy to have a cat in the trailer. She doesn't try to get out, but you know she has her jingle bells on, so you can hear her if she does get out. She also has her chipped, her chip, the chip information, but she has this little, little pocket button light we can turn on, so if it's nighttime, we'll turn that on before we open the door in case she accidentally gets out, and you can at least see where she went. But in addition to that, traveling with the cat, let's turn that light, I'll leave it up. Traveling with the cat is, we have a, we put her into this little, uh, put a little remote control beeper on her, push the button, and she beeps. See that little flashing light there? Those are usually put on a remote control for your television or maybe your keychain. You can find where your keys are at. But for us, we just want to find out where she's at, so she'll beep for you. She's not a, She's not a runner. So being in a small trailer with a cat is actually pretty easy. And it's easy to stay warm. We have different forms of heat, the catalytic heater, of course the electric heater, the electric blanket, um, and just a sunny, warm location. 
But anyway, so it really is pretty easy to travel with a cat. So every time I get out of the trailer, put the shoes back on. Ooh, easy now. What did I show you? This is the bathroom. So here's our toilet. She likes to sit on there too because it's close to the electric heater. And she has her own little sandbox toilet in there. Close that a little bit. Put on some shoes. And so every time that I leave, I come out the door. And like I said, she's not a runner. She's still up there enjoying her breakfast. I always lock the door. That way she cannot get out of the little trailer. Who knows, I like, who knows what I like Ike is all about. And Coco's new hamburger. Those are some oldies. This trailer's a 1972, by the way. So we put a lot of oldies type things in it. Let's step back a little bit. <laughs> so there's the trailer. You can see the pop top tent is up and Tabitha will, like I said, get into that slot next to the red canvas up on the top of the trailer when the top is popped. And she likes to get comfy in there. And it is pretty comfy on a, on a, on a nice day. So you can see what she's doing. See, so there she is. There she goes, looking out the window. Yeah, so traveling with a cat, especially in a tiny trailer, works out quite well. She, uh, she's really well behaved and she does not care about the motion of the trailer. Let's go look in the window and see what she's doing. See her in there. She's in there somewhere. Let's go to this side. What are you doing in there, Tabitha? Oh, there she is. Hey, Tabitha. Yeah, she's a really good traveling cat. So anyway, in the middle of nowhere, traveling with a cat is really an easy thing to do. Meanwhile, while we're away, Tabitha sits and watches her prey. A little bird in the tree. You think you're going to get that bird, Tabitha? Maybe yes. Maybe no. Where did Tabitha go? Does anybody know where she is? Don't know where she is. Oh, wait. What's this? Could that be? Is that Tabitha the cat? Yes, it is. There she is in her favorite perch. Looking out the window, see what's going on. What's Tabitha doing? She sees all the snowdrop. She sees all those snowflakes. She's watching them. And she's smacking the window with her paws because she thinks she can catch a snowflake.